Parasite, the latest film from Korea's most celebrated director, Bong Joon-ho, reaches our cinemas fresh from winning the Palme d'Or in Cannes last month and the lucrative Sydney Film Prize a couple of weeks ago. Bong's CV is an impressive one that includes the crime thriller Memories of Murder, the terrifying monster movie The Host, and the wonderfully weird Snowpiercer. Parasite sounds like a horror movie, but it isn't, at least not in the usual sense of the word. Instead, it's wily and frequently bitterly funny, uh, as it examines class warfare with a bit of bloodshed thrown in. The Song family, parents and two adult children, live in a shabby basement in the city. They're all unemployed, but as we're about to see, they're extremely resourceful. But then a school friend of Ki Wu, the son, comes up with a possible job offer. He's been tutoring the young daughter of the wealthy Park family, but he's going away. Maybe Ki Wu could take his place. Ki Wu has no qualifications, but that's no problem because his sister, Ki Jung, is an expert forger. And soon, Ki Wu finds himself welcomed in the palatial, architect-designed home of the wealthy Park family. His student, Da Hai, is immediately smitten with her new tutor, and her mother, Yon Kyo, is so pleased with him that she readily accepts his suggestion of an art teacher for her precocious small son, Da Song. Before long, Jessica, a.k.a. Ki Jung, is filling that position with forged credentials, of course. The hapless chauffeur is replaced by Ki Tech, the Song patriarch, and his wife, Chun Suk, is soon installed as the park housekeeper. And now that all four members of the Song family are employed in the park mansion, director Bong switches from the playful approach of the early scenes into a mood that becomes steadily darker as the film proceeds. There's a lot going on in this very smart black comedy, as Bong comments on the gulf between souls rich and poor, and even takes hilarious aim at North Korea's earnestly conformist TV newsreaders. He avoids the trap of making the wealthy and basically snobbish parks too obnoxious, but he clearly sides with the songs. Parasite is a subversive delight, and despite its hefty two-and-a-quarter-hour running time, it's never dull, because Bong keeps shifting the goalposts so that just as we think we know where the film is heading, he changes tack and pulls another joker from the pack. It's a pleasure to see the work of this consummate artist. I'm giving Parasite four and a half stars. Mm-hmm.